spinal motion restriction is defined as attempting to maintain the spine in anatomic alignment and minimizing gross movement. The term spinal immobilization is defined as the use of adjuncts such as a cervical collar and a long spine board. Upon approach, assume manual C-spine control and assess the patient's level of consciousness. Transfer manual control to your partner and begin the primary assessment. Follow the steps of the primary assessment and physical exam as previously shown. While doing the head-to-toe assessment, it is a good opportunity to ask your patient a sample history and OPQRST if it applies. Place a long spine board along the side of the patient and deploy all equipment nearby and then prepare to log roll the patient. When ready, it is up to the persons holding C-spine to count so everyone can roll the patient on its side at the same time. And once again, upon the command of the person holding C-spine, only move the patient along the axis of the spinal cord and never laterally. Begin securing the patient by feeding the female buckle from under the board, placing it on the upper left or upper right side of the chest. Skip down to about the third loop and then feed the male buckle from under the board and then place it diagonally across the patient's chest towards the opposite shoulder. Feed the male buckle down through the board and continue downwards to match the same pattern on the other side. And finally, secure the two buckles back together, paying close attention that they maintain in the upper right or left side of the patient's chest and never along the middle in case CPR needs to be done. Also, pay attention to the straps so they can be flat against the patient's skin. The pelvic region can be secured in the same pattern as the torso. However, we must take into account that if the patient is taller, we may need to use different loops along the side of the board to accommodate for the patient's height. Ultimately, the same crisscross pattern should be over the hips as well as the torso. To strap the patient's legs, begin with any buckle from under the board, feeding it and going across to the opposite side and then down through the board. Then secure the buckles together. Place the buckle somewhere in between the legs and then bring the remaining strap down towards the patient's feet and create a crisscross pattern by looping at once. As you place it, along the bottom of the patient's feet. Once all straps are secured, you can then place the head blocks, making sure they are making contact with the shoulder and the head at the same time. Place one head strap over the chin and one over the forehead and secure them to the pad on each side of the patient's head. And last, verify that all straps are snugged and secured. Check distal pulse motor and sensation before letting go of manual C-spine control.